we played in a tournament in St. Louis. Uh, it was 16 and under. And I didn't play against him in college because he was in Memphis, who I think was Conference USA at the time, and Louisville yes. was in the league too. Conference realignment guy is giving me a headache. I don't know yes, what's going I'm on. Leaving. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm still trying to keep up. But I think at the time they were Conference USA. Calipari was at Memphis. and So I didn't play against him then, but I played against him in AAU. And, uh, I mean, the layup lines for high school D. Rose were comical. And just his sheer combination of power and speed at that point in his life where he didn't put on all this extra weight, like he was just all fluid athleticism and power. And even at that age, we have this saying with college coaches and college guys, when a pro walks in the gym, you know, mm. like Derrick Rose had that kind of build because, I mean, he, he's what, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, but the shoulders are huge and how shifty he was. But he did a 720 dunk in warm-ups. And some of my guys look down at me and they're like, hey, boys, we might be in trouble. <laughs> it, was, it, was just, uh, it was just him and a guy named Tim Flowers who was like a 6'5 post player. The rest of the yeah, guys, I can't really remember them. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, uh, but Derek Rose, I think he had 30. I think I had 25 or 30. I was right there with him. But all mine were in the second half. So I got, hey, I got mine, but yeah. it just, you know, I didn't impact the game the same way he did. He, he, great player. Uh, and, and in my opinion, guys, a hall of fame player. And, and yeah. th there's been a few guys that have been able to change the way they do things. I think Grant Hill comes to mind of guys of yesteryear. Derek mm -hmm. Rose has done the same thing he did. I mean, he has altered his game to what his body allows and what he's able to do and continue to do at the NBA level is amazing. To me.